there, Yana Navatna, what does she do best? Hitting that slice backhand, moving forward, getting in, putting the pressure on Jennifer. Here you'll see her moving forward. She's saying to Jennifer, if I'm going to lose this game, you're going to have to pass me. I'm going to put you under pressure. And that's tough to do when that slice backhand is so deep. It's low and it's deep. And the opponent has to hit up on the ball. There's an ace. There was a correction on that serve. It was ruled initially a fault. It was an ace, an overrule. And now she's serving for the first set. You saw those unforced errors a little high on Jennifer Capriati's side. Capriati stays off a set point. Yana tried to run around that and hit the forehand. Her feet were not were not moving fast enough. If you're going to go for an inside-out forehand off of a hard shot, you better have those feet working. did that was very smart when she was in trouble. You're going to see Jennifer swooping cross court forehand. Thinks she wins the point, but Yana keeps this ball low. This is below the net. Not an easy shot on the forehand. Yana was very smart when she was in trouble. She kept it low. Stayed in the point. Set point number two. Double four. Not what you want to do on your first set point. Second double fall. Sometimes when you, you get to a set point, you need to take a little extra time, catch your breath, get your focus, get your attention. showed there now a break point she's moving better now than she was even earlier in this set and you, you notice she has a wrap around her leg it might have been a little bit tight at the beginning of the match but she's definitely moving better as this set goes along third break point of this game for Capriati big first serve from Novotna 93 miles per hour with some pretty good spin as well Deuce number four. I like Yana's composure. She's taking her time right now. Not rushing. Remember, when you're the server, you're the one in control. Hey! It's wide. Hey! And Yana doesn't like this call. There's no markings on the Supreme Court. It's very important for Yana right now to forget about this. It's an important game. It was an important point. Whether the shot was in or out, they're not going to change the call. She's got to keep her attention where it needs to be. Break point number four in this game. And Yana again, same speed, 93 goes back to the same spot, right to Jennifer's forehand. Hey, if something's working, go back there. Until someone shows you that they're, they're gonna do something different, that they're gonna hit a winner on you or put, or put you in trouble, go back to the same spot. Jennifer does so well, she changes direction with her 
first shot. You'll see her take the cross court from Yana Novotna. Open court down the line. Great change of direction. You set points up with your cross courts. You often win them with your down the line. Break point number five for Capriati. 16th point of this game. And a rare miss from Yana. Again, Yana going to her strength. Her strength is moving forward. Her strength is at the net. Put the pressure on Jennifer. You see, Yana, she's way behind the baseline, but she's saying, I'm coming in. You gotta pass me. Set point number three now for Yana Novotna. This is the finals of the Ameritech Cup. Novotna trying to win the first set. It's best two out of three for the championship. This has been the longest game of the match. It has, and it'll be interesting to see if Yana goes back to Jennifer's forehand, tries to hit that flat one, slice it out up the middle. did the right thing, took the short ball, came in. Yana very composed, hit that slice lob over her head. I Not liked her composure shot. in the whole game. There were five break points, three set points, and Novotna has the first set 6-4. you want to start that second set. First double fall for Jennifer Capriati. First game of a new set, always very important. <laughs> Jennifer wants Yana to know she's in this match. Second set. Jennifer's first serve percentage below 50. Novotna up around 80, huge difference. Who's I think in this comeback for Jennifer? The one area she needs to work on is the serve because she's, she is having problems with her toss. When she gets that together and doesn't have to worry about that all the time, she's gonna be tough. Well played, Capriati. Beautiful footwork there. Move forward very well, stayed Please. with that forehand down the line. You'll see this, this ball staying low from Yana Jennifer moving forward in position, made it look easy. Send that ball to the vacated area. Double fault. So both of her double faults coming in this game. That toss is dropping too much. She's got a great sky hook. Probably the best in tennis. A little reminiscent of Jimmy Connors. 
Here she goes, stays down on that forehand volley. You've got to stay down on your volleys. Anticipates the lob, the sky hook off the ground in the air. No one does it better. Great point. Second set, first game goes to Novotna. So Yana Novotna looking very strong now and finding all the answers thus far in this match. Get up on the way home. Okay. See you later. Hey, Andy. Meet Andy Clark from Ameritech. Good. New members, repeat after me. Andy Five, visits our test towns nine, to see how nine, people nine, interact nine, with our technology. Making sure that once something leaves here, it's easy to use. Let's take a look at your place. Because if technology doesn't work for people, it doesn't work. Good, Andy. <laughs> Ameritech, your link to better communication. What has the models this year looking so happy? Is it the new fall look? Insiders say no. Blame those smiling faces on Dave Thomas, Wendy's founder, and his new grilled chicken sandwich. It's absolutely smashing. Bigger, plumper, and juicier than ever. With this all-white meat filet, the girls have found a delicious chicken sandwich they can enjoy today. And still fit into that size six tomorrow. Dave, what's new for spring? Well, short sleeves are always nice. Fabulous. Try Wendy's new plumper, juicier grilled chicken sandwich free for small business owners. Now you can say goodbye to your bookkeeping hassles forever because the makers of Quicken have invented QuickBooks, the number one selling accounting software that makes it fast and easy to do the things you don't love doing, like paying bills, writing invoices, figuring out what your customers owe, even tracking inventory and doing payroll. QuickBooks makes it all hassle-free. Call now to get a trial version absolutely free through this special limited time TV offer. Yana Novotna won the first set 6-4, up a break here in the second set. And right now, Novotna very much in control. We're at the UIC Pavilion at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Bruce Beck along with Elise Bergen, Championship 1996 Ameritech Cup. Jennifer Capriati unseated. Yana Novotna, number two seed. for rearranging those strings. You always have to have the, them in perfect order. Here's a chance for Capriati. It's 15.30. It's a very important chance for Jennifer. She wants to get the break back right away. Look, Jennifer had a big night last night, probably one of the biggest nights in, in, in many a year for her huge win over Monica Sellis. It's not easy to come back the next day. And it's 15.40, so a double break point for Capriati. Capriani beat Sellis in 57 minutes last night. She could do no wrong. Everyone was talking about her after the match. Billie Jean King was in the corridor saying she was just terrific. And there's the break for Capriani. So she gets it to one all, even up. Second set. Bruce Monica Sells was very gracious in defeat last night. She sure night. was. It's never easy to lose, but she gave all the compliments to Jennifer. She said Jennifer was just too good. It wasn't as much me as it was her. of Novotny. 
Buckner. You saw some delicate touch on the low ball from Capriati. Let's take a look at this. When you hit the drop volley, no tension in your hand. That's the way you want to do it. And it's lump 30, and I like the way that Novotna, after she loses a game, after she's broken, just comes right back and puts it out of her mind and gets mentally into the next game. She's improved her mental approach 100%. She said it herself, I'm more mature, I'm mentally tough, I feel I can pull it off. shot from Jennifer. Yana's approach not deep enough. Take a look at this, Jennifer. It's a little short. She delivers a rocket. up for her net game by going very wide and coming in. She sticks that high forehand volley. Here she comes. When you're above the net, you can swing a little bit more. Below the net, gotta be a bit more delicate. Can't take the big swing. She's caught the corner of that hand court about five times in this match. Capriati, 98 miles per hour on that serve. It's Deuce. Uh, nothing like a little controversy. Once again, Yana questions the call. Got to shrug it off. You know, you, we've talked about how excited Jennifer's been this week. So is Yana. The two players who have shown the most excitement who's the whole week, the ones that, that seemed like they wanted to be here, ended up in the final. Great point. Jennifer trying to force that a bit too much. That ball was a little low to, to try to pummel it as hard as she did. It's long, and it's deuce. That just missed. Boy, what a great approach off that serve it was. Just a little long. That was the right idea. Once again, she was intending to put pressure on Jennifer. right from the get-go. Got the first serve and didn't let Yana take control. Started moving her around from the first shot of the point. Gets the ad. Capriati holds. 2-1. Second set. In 1981, the First Lady spent over $820,000 redecorating the White House. In 1989, the First Lady spent over $62,000 redecorating the White House. And in 1993, the First Lady spent over $390,000 redecorating the White House. For that kind of money, we could have redecorated every White House in the country. Linens and things, all the comforts of home at very comfortable prices. Alamo Quicksilver, get out of line. Welcome to the Ocean Club, sister resort to Atlantis Paradise Island. Does your opponent read your drop shot too easily? Try this drill to help your preparation. 
Set up a garbage can halfway between the net and the service line in the ad court. Rally with cross court forehands and then play the drop shot into the garbage can. Work on disguising the shot to keep the preparation identical to your ground stroke. Remember, be a good salesman because disguise is the key to the drop shot. game of the second set we're on serve first set Novotna with two breaks in the fifth and ninth games Capriani with one break in the third game Novotna won the first set She won in Zurich. The only other year she's won three titles was 94. She's trying to duplicate that in 96. Oh. And it's wide. 30 all. Pulling off that forehand too much. When you push back in the court, you better stay down. You've got to stay down and then push off. But if you push off too soon, you're going to lose control. for Jennifer Capriotti. Good deep return from Jennifer. Dude. Solid first serve from Yana, 90 miles per hour. Handcuffed Jennifer in that one. On the serve, it's all about mixing things up. Yana's got the wide one. She can slice it wide, she can go flat down the middle, and she can go at the body. Take advantage of all of them. So Navata facing a break point at 30-40 wins three straight points to hold, and it's two all. Yana Navanda, of course, a terrific doubles player as well. She's currently number two in the world. She's got 69 career doubles titles, including a multiple of Grand Slam doubles titles. player with one break in the second set on serve to all. Oh, yes. Jennifer answering Yana Slice with a slice of her own once again. Kept her in the point. You'll see that running forehand blistering. <laughs> Little drop shot there, changing things up. That shows you that Jennifer's thinking. Well disguised. When you're a two-hander and you're going for a drop shot, you better disguise it. Novotna probably thinks she's playing against herself right now. Oh! 
I don't know what happened there because Yana kind of I don't, I don't, hoped that for turn back. I was going to say, I didn't think she thought it was in and, and tried not to play it thinking it was going to be called out, but they played the point. And now in this first-time television offer comes the one boxing video you will want to watch over and over. Legends of the Ring, Ali. I talk too much and I'm cocky and I need a good beating. Why don't somebody just give that old gal a pension on every time? From his early beginnings, Ali was brash. I'm knocking out all bones. And if you get too smart, I'll knock you out. If you like to lose your money, be a fool and bet on Sonny. He's too ugly to be the world's champ. The world's champ should be pretty like me. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. You're being extremely truculent. Whatever truculent mean, if that's good, I'm there. This collectible boxing Yo, treasure captures the spirit of Ali and shows why he is still the greatest. Keep your camera moving, because I'm kind of fast. Have credit card ready and call 1-800-253-8665 for your Ali video. Only $19.98 plus shipping. It's action-packed with pounding fights and interviews. 1-800-253-8665. Sorry, no CODs. Another look at that last point. Textbook lesson on how to hit a running forehand. Watch Jennifer's preparation. Gets the winner down the line. You've got to have that racket ready. You've got to have your feet to the ball. Can't Ten. hit what you can't get to. Ten forehand winners for Capriati. She willed that ball into play. Yana Novotna serving 2-3. On serve, second set. Novotna won the first set, 6-4. by Yana Novotna, but I do think she was expecting that cross-court pass. Focus on the ball. You've got to pay attention to the hit. Perfect. do after you play a great point is turn around and just dump a ball into the net on the first shot. Novotna reached the finals in Chicago in 1992 and lost to Martina Navratilova 7-5 in the third. Novotna has faced at least one break point in each of her three service games in the second set. Yana, after making two errors in a row, after missing the forehand into the net, turns around, hits the inside out flat one for a winner. Unforced errors, you can see just about the same. Well, they're both aggressive players. They both take risks. Jennifer from the baseline, Yanni usually taking her, her risk chances coming in. But it's a close match, and usually in close matches, the unforced errors are very similar. Just wide. 
And it's Deuce. Deuce. It was almost too easy for Jan at that point. Got the good first serve and got a high volley. Was probably expecting Jennifer to hit the return with a little more pace. 